Hey guys, Travis here with Chaparral Motorsports, and once again, we're at Glen Helen Raceway testing some product. And today it's the Mobius X8 wrist brace. I was really excited to try this out because I currently wear the Mobius X8 knee braces. So I'm gonna show you how it works, um, get the helmet and gear on, and we'll get out to the track. Getting the brace on actually is fairly easy. <clears throat> Slide it over the middle finger. Start cranking down the dial. Make sure it's in place. Like so. And crank her down. I wouldn't go too tight. Earlier in the day, um, my early morning motos, I kind of tighten it down, kind of like almost like a pair of boots or knee braces. I do wear the Mobius knee braces as well. But, you know, just snug. I ended up actually getting arm pumped just in my right arm um, in the first moto. And uh, funny thing is, is after I did that, I, I eliminated the arm pump, but my, my middle finger started to go numb. So I'm gonna have to try and maybe uh, figure something out. This EVA foam is a little too tight for my, my middle finger, so maybe I can slice it open a little wider or something, but those are the only issues I've had. I went up to the, uh, to the thicker pad just because it needed to fit properly. You gotta give yourself a little bit of a uh, wiggle room so when the brace does have time to flex, it's got room to flex in that cable. So we're all set up. Uh, let's get out on the track. It's fairly warm. We're gonna go to the REM track here at Glen Helen. Basically it looks to be almost my own private track other than that guy. Um, Anyways, let's go give this uh, wrist brace a shot. I, I don't, I don't have any adjustment as far as the bottom out, but uh, you know, just to let you guys know, I did have a, a previous wrist injury, so uh, I've, I've been wearing another brand uh, wrist brace, just like a neoprene one that that wraps around. So I was really excited for this thing to come out to give it a shot. <clears throat> All right. I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, I have a that I can feel something on my on my wrist and, uh, and down here around my arm that's limiting, you know, limiting my my motion, my range of motion. So I'm not going to say, oh, I, I can't even feel it. Yeah, I can feel it for sure, but it's a good feeling because it's it's almost like when you get a nice pair of boots and they hug your ankle. It almost feels like that. Now, you know, as the day goes on, I might need to crank it down a few other times pull off the track just to see how how loose it gets all right so the EVA foam this EVA black foam it's actually adjustable you can move that white plate um, back and forth just because someone might have a longer hand or a longer finger so I did have to do that as well it's got a ton of adjustments, which I like, because everyone's hands are different. All right, let's see what we got. I'm hoping maybe I can just walk you guys around the track and... Uh, give you kind of an idea of, of what the wrist brace feels like while I'm out here. I mean, I'll maybe I'll over jump over jump a couple jumps just to see it's a little dry slick out here here comes a flat uh, flat lander that felt good the back back section really slick now right now I'm kind of used used to the brace like I said this is this is my second moto in it the first moto I had it too tight it 
a rough section. Here comes a pretty big jump, actually. Let's let's see how we can. Woo! That felt good. Nothing. Uh, nothing's pinching. Nothing's pulling. Uh, I did feel it bottom out just right now, which which is good to know because you obviously know it's working. You might have to make a little bit of adjustment to your front brake lever. Um, that being said, because the wrist brace only gives you a certain range of motion, sometimes when you're standing up over the bike and getting ready to enter a corner, it, it was a little hard to grab the front brake if it was adjusted too low. Feels good though. Like I said, there's no pinching, no pulling. This is a rough section. And up and over. Stand up through this thing. Yeah, see, I didn't have any problem using the throttle right there when I stood up in the corner. It gave, it gave me enough range to, to crack the throttle and, and use it while I was standing up. Another stand up corner. Take this to get around the water. This is a fun little jump. Just float away into the straightaway. In third gear. Third gear. Fourth. Wah! Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I, I feel it bottom out on that jump every time around. So, anyways, that's that's a couple laps with the with the new Mobius X8 wrist brace. I love it actually. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, maybe something I didn't bring up, it, you know, just just leave a comment down below, and uh, I'll get on our YouTube page and check it out. Hopefully, this was an informative video for you guys. Oh yeah, that was a flat land. Whew. I mean, I definitely had fun making it. <laughs> Woo! So, I'll get off the track actually once I get down there by the starting line and uh, we'll pull into the pits and let you guys kind of let you look at the brace up close and and uh, kind of just give you guys a closing as far as the overall first impression on the Mobius X8 wrist brace. Oh yeah. So we've made it back in uh, to the pits after testing the, the Mobius X8 wrist brace. <clears throat> and, you know, like I said, when you first get out on the track, it is something you're gonna notice. Um, I mean, it, it, it puts a limitation on your range of motion on your wrist. So, you know, you, you're gonna feel it. It's not gonna be something like, you know, ne a neck brace to where, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that it was on me after the end of the moto. Yeah, I, I noticed it was still on, but it was in a good way because I felt that support in my wrist, almost like a good pair of boots when they when they hug your ankle, you know, you feel comfortable over jumping a jump or, or coming short on, on a jump, something like that. As far as the brace goes, um, it is something that you have to get used to, you know, just like anything, you, you got to go out there, take it easy, um, don't, don't go hard, you know, your first lap because it limits your throttle. You might have to adjust your front brake, which I had to, um, cause when you stand up and you get over your bars, um, it's kind of hard to, to get up there and grab that front brake. So you kind of have to raise the front brake, um, in order to grab it. <clears throat> the first moto I went out and, and I mentioned it in the video when I was out on the track, 
it was a little tight. I, I snugged it up just like a pair of boots. So it was just a little too tight. So my whole right arm ended up getting arm pump. After I, I uh, you know, came to the solution of just loosening it a little bit, uh, the arm pump was eliminated. <clears throat> the only thing I had an issue with was the, the finger hole. It seems, I mean, it's the same size finger hole for, for every brace. So everyone's finger isn't the same size diameter. I think that my fat fingers um, going towards it, through it, actually made my middle finger numb. Um, so that was the only issue. I think you can kind of maybe splice the hole open to make it a little bit wider to eliminate that problem. Um, all around, this is a really good, a really nice, durable wrist brace. Um, it has the same technology as their knee braces. So when you're tightening it up, it's tightening all the way around your wrist as far as like more of a, like a hugging effect. Um, and that, that's really nice because you can get a traditional wrist brace and you just end up filling all the straps that go across your forearm. Um, I didn't end up adjusting, there's an adjuster here, which is their limiter. And you can go from, I believe, 70 degrees all the way to 10 degrees. And 10 degrees is the, the least amount of motion. I kept it at 70. And there were a few times uh, I mentioned in the video, I, I over, overshot one of the jumps and, and I can feel this thing bottom out every time I went around. So it was good, it was working. <clears throat> Again, you know, all in all, this is a really good wrist brace. You know, there's, there's nothing on the market like this. So come on into the store and try it on for yourself. There's a ton of adjustability. There's two different sizes. Um, and if you can't make it into the store, head to our website, shapmoto.com, and um, you know, pick, pick one up for yourself. Put it in a shopping cart and you'll have it in a couple days. Again, I'm Travis with Chaparral Motorsports, and I hope you enjoyed the video.